There are not a lot of salads that make you stop and turn your head. But this one, with roasted eggplant, crisp Romano beans, and luscious burrata, makes you do just that. These are my Romano beans. I've already blanched them and um, cut them up into bite-sized pieces. But if you can't find them, green beans work perfectly well, or yellow wax beans will also work. The trick is you want to cook them until they are soft with just a little bit of a bite to them. They don't want to be completely tender. So this is just cubes of eggplant that I've let sit with a little bit of salt on them for about 20 minutes. It just extracts the liquid. After you salt your eggplant, you want to dry it really well because you don't want to try to roast damp eggplant. It's just never going to get crisp, so pat it nice and dry. To make the dressing for the salad, I've made a little bit of garlic confit, which sounds a lot fancier than it is. It's basically just garlic cloves simmered in olive oil until they get really soft and really sweet. You just want to mash them up a little bit to release all their flavors. After straining, you can use the oil to dress the salad, and then you can save those garlicky solids. You can spread them on toast or mix them into marinades for meats. There's something that you want to have in your fridge, so don't throw them out. I like to mix the eggplant with the garlic confit oil when it's hot, and that way it can really absorb the flavor. And I also add the tomatoes at that point, because the tomatoes can marinate in that same garlic confit oil. This is not a quick salad. It's not like you take your mescaline out and put your dressing on it. But at the end, you have this beautiful main course salad. So it's worth the time spent. So you could stop here and just serve this as a delicious side salad. It'd be great with grilled meats or burgers or whatever. But if you want to go all the way to luscious land, that's when you get out your burrata. This is one pretty gorgeous salad, if I may say so myself. Salad and I. We're like this.